and leaving the stores, Glamorous Breeze and also Zudu Spirit of a little bit slowly into their stride. Nymphadora right against the grandstand side, running well is out quickly and leads. Yellow Jacket favourite, Emirati and a dark blue of Chipstead, the far side of those. Rum Cocktail, the best turned out winner, blue and yellow's keen with uh, Zudu Spirit moving alongside, also very keen. The Nosebander Corker is next, the Maroon of Rage of Bambi behind these, designer in white colours, Glamorous Breeze, Red jacket, white sleeves just at the back of the field. This is the two furlong marker coming up. Chipstead and Emma Ratiana with Nymphadora, the leading trio. Designer Corker and Rum Cocktail right in behind those. Emma Ratiana and Neil Callan have the advantage at the furlong pole. Chipstead in second position. The noseband of Corker running on well. Also from the back of the field, glamorous breeze, but Emma Ratiana in front and wins. Emma Ratiana by length and half, maybe two. To, Com uh, to Corker, Nymphadora, they're off. A race with a mile and a half here for this Jim Barry Cumberland Lodge. So they begin right over on the far side of the course. The previous winner, Yukon Glen, is dropped in right at the back of the field as the black colours of Claymore and Neil Callan, the first one to go on. White jacket of Al Kareem, close up running in second. In green, the former Chilean a horse for Tino runs in a prominent position in red. Lastronome is next. A yellow jacket, or the first of the pair in yellow, is Postelio, showing about fifth position at the moment. The Shadwell pair are together. Alazi, blue and white stripes on the cap. First jacket favoured against the running rail. Black cap for Israel's a little out wide of those. And Yukon Glen, the senior runner at the age of 10, continues to be the back marker. They've completed the first third of the journey. They're about to swing right handed at Swindley Bottom and Neil Callan on Claymore, setting the gallop over best turned out winner Al Kareem Clifford Lee in second place. There's at least two lengths behind those to Tom Marquand in red colours on Ladster Gnome and green jacket for Ross Ryan on Fortino in third and fourth places. First of the ones in blue and white, Jim Crowley, Al Arzi is just ahead of uh, Jack Mitchell who's in yellow colours on Post de Leo. Benoit Lasseyet distinguishing black cap on Isra's widest on the course and then Paul Mulrenham on uh, Yukon Glen continues to be at the rear of the field. Well past halfway, this is the five furlong pole they're approaching now. Claymore by a length to Al Karim in second place. They have a handy break on the others, three lengths then to Postelio making progress around the outside in yellow to join Fortino and Lastronome. A length and a half to Al Arzi and Isra together. Two lengths off those to Yukon Glen. Already they're on the way to the home straight and it is still Claymore. Still has the lead here. Stretching in second place, Al Karim still a length behind. Postelio two lengths behind those in third. Isra, black cap on the right, making progress. Lastodome is next. Behind these is Al Arzi in the centre, called upon for maximum effort. Still, though, only in fifth position. Al Karim in the white jacket comes through to take it up between the two and one foul on poles, but quickly, Isra. Isra and Benoit Lasayette come sailing down the centre of the course to take it up. Al Karim in second position, Postelio, you can glen behind those. Al Arzi only fifth at the moment, 100 yards from the line. Isra in front, Al Karim is backling back and he stays very well. Al Karim, Clifford Lee get back up to win to beat Isra. Postelio, you can glen, Al Arzi a few lengths behind them. They're off. A race away with six furlongs for this John Guest racing uh, Ben Goff stakes. Having played up in the stalls, Dark Trooper in dark blue is one of the last away. Jump is the one behind him. The grey Garris is the first to show. From the light blue of Rumstar on the left, Juan Le Pan, who went to post earlier. Red cap in a prominent position. Comanche Falls, yellow with white sleeves, is next. Nose banded Anaf, uh, best turned out winners against the running well. Fifth position for the favourite at the moment. P uh, previous winner, Bad Dream, purple sleeves. Close to him, happy romance, pink crystal, and with those, Dark Trooper, the next line of three. Jumbi is the back marker, they've just got past halfway. Juan Le Pan with a red cap leading, Garris in second place. On the left is Comanche Falls, close up. An athlete's a little bit of room. Rumstar still ahead of him, holds fourth position, now third. Vadrim behind those, then comes Dark Trooper. Behind these, pink crystal, also happy romance. Comanche Falls leads as they come to the furlong pole. From Anaf trying to get past Juan. Juan Le Pan is still there, Rumstar behind these, Vadri, a big run at a massive price, inside the last half fell on Comanche Falls and Anaf as they race towards the line, yellow Comanche Falls, the noseband Anaf, Anaf I think, to Comanche Falls, Pink Crystal, Juan Le Pan and Vadri. 
Veroff. They race over seven furlongs with a blue for you, missing the Blake completely from store number four. Lethal Levi is the first one to go on to Ancestral Land as they split into two groups. Kinnelt and May Waker on the extreme left and up there with those is uh, Ropey Guest and also behind these is the dark blue cap of Orban and Pearl Dawn and Escobar is behind those as well. Off to the right, Ancestral Land and Lethal Levi on Popmaster and Fresh and Roscolin and eight Atrium of the group with Glenn Finnan on the extreme right off towards the left. Kinnault is leading there to Hickory and the Dark Jacket and May Wake behind these to Pearl Door. And then Orban and Bless Him and Blue For You is with that group as well as they move down to the halfway stage of this Howden Challenge Cup. And it's still Lethal Levi and Ancestral Land towards the right. The green sleeves of Kinnault bowling along on the extreme left to Hickory. May Wake is behind this to Ropey Guest. Popmaster near side isn't far behind. Fresh is two thirds of the way down the field. They're inside the final two furlongs now. Lethal Levi and Sistral Land. Glenn Finnan against the grandstand side running rail. Popmaster with those. Pearl Door in the centre of the noseband. Kinnault the far side. Hickory and Ropey guess behind this. Atrium now and the light blue comes storming through nearest to us with Popmaster. Pearl Door with the noseband down the centre. Popmaster and Atrium with Pearl Door. They race towards the line. Very close. Popmaster and Atrium to Pearl Door. Lethal Levi, Roscoe and Ropey guess. It's blue for you, Escobar and Glenn Finna. They're off. A race seven furlongs is the trip here. Looks like a fairly decent break for this McGee group, British EBF. October Stakes and Nigiri is going to go through and lead him. Chestnut with a white face has the early advantage. Alcazan, who won the best turned out award behind her and a bit keen. Far too shy, blue and yellow is a few of those in this race moving up to dispute second position with Alcazan. Breeze in green colours is next along Sel Sabila, along Sida. And then comes uh, Queen Aminatu, black and white jacket, a red cap. She's against the rail, a little bit hidden at the moment. Canoodle, one from the left, white face is next to Zuki. And then in Grey colours love interest in bronze jacket, nine tenths of the last couple of runners as they head down to the halfway stage. Nagiri continues to have the advantage to far too shy in second place. The neck to Breeze showing him third. Alcazan, longest priced runner just in behind him. Celsa Bila is next. Canoodle is uh, towards the left with a yellow cap. And Zuki and Queen Aminatu, the next couple of runners behind those is love interest. And then comes nine tenths, two furlongs to go. Nagiri having to work hard to maintain the lead. Breeze towards the left. Far too shy between those. Canoodle trying to get the window. It's Celsa Bila travelling strongly, looking for a gap. Now it's far too shy as they come to the furlong pole. Who goes on to Breeze in the green? Colours. Celsa Bila getting going, a blue cap nearest the stands. Far too shy and breeze together. Celsa Bila still coming at them. Suki running on, they come to the line very close indeed. Breeze with a Celsa Bila canoodled a Zuki and far too shy. Go, they're away. Five furlongs is the trip here. Existent is slow into stride. Green and red of Mountain Peak and also the noseband of T-Spirit are fast away. Getting an intrinsic bond towards the left. Bedford Flower in blue and red colours is up there. Acklam uh, Express in a white jacket and Harry Brown and Spring Bloom and Battery Existent. And then comes uh, Wolhampton. Behind these is Call Me Ginger, the best turned out winner. And the green at the back is Brave Nation. Already they're at halfway. And it's T-Spirit on the right in the blue, get it in the left on the black and white colours, Mountain Peak behind these to Spring Bloom, Intrinsic Bond and Bedford Flyer, Battery is next then comes Acklam Express, behind those is Harry Brown, Woolhampton Extreme left making headway, heading down towards the last furlong now, get it in the black and white colours leading, from Mountain Peak in the green and red jacket the orange cap and Battery behind these Woolhampton is furthest from us and absolutely flying home, Battery with the noseband has the advantage as they race to the line Ryan Sexton and Battery to in second position, Walhampton to get it and behind those as Brave Nation and Mountain Peak.